Some things in the universe are in motion. You may be, your heart certainly is, the birds in the sky and the cars on the road are, but anything in motion must have been caused to move. Nothing can move itself spontaneously without something else moving it. And the thing that moves another thing must itself be in motion. Every effect has a prior cause. But hang on. If we trace all the effects and causes of motion back to the very beginning, we end up with a problem. There surely must have been something that caused the very first thing that moved to move. A first mover. Otherwise, there'd be an infinite regress of effects and their causes going back forever without a beginning. But if there has to be a beginning of the chain of cause and effect, what caused that first mover to move? Thomas Aquinas, a 13th century Dominican friar, argued that the first mover just moved itself. That's because the first mover was God, who can do that sort of thing. We can deduce the existence of God, Aquinas thought, from the fact that there is movement at all. Not everyone agrees, of course. It might be difficult to imagine, but perhaps effects and their causes do stretch back in time infinitely. Besides, saying that the first mover, the first cause, the beginning of everything, was God, still leaves the awkward question, and what caused God? <laughs> 